The city of Sheboygan recently hired a city manager to oversee the day-to-day -day administrative and operational management of the city. In light of these changes, how would you now define the role of the mayor of Sheboygan? I work on the city of Sheboygan. I've lived here my whole life, and I know what a great city it is. But being the mayor is a 24-hour, seven days a week job, where you should be the face of the city of Sheboygan and representing the people of Sheboygan, their citizens at all times. You know, one of the major priorities that this mayor should have is working with county officials, state officials, local uh, community leaders to help on development. We all agree on that. The mayor working with the Common Council is responsible to prepare an annual budget. He and the council make these policy decisions through the budget. Then the city chief administrator and the department heads will be responsible for implementing those those policies. You know, I agree with the decision that happened a few years ago to reduce the mayor's salary based on the fact that the duties and the responsibilities of the mayor has changed ever since the, the chief administrator operator has taken place. He's taken some of the everyday running of the city uh, in conjunction with the mayor, but it's taken some of those responsibilities. You know, Mayor Ryan today is paid about a base salary of around 72000 plus change or under change. Um, the Common Council voting as a committee of the whole last year voted to reduce the mayor's salary to $60,000 starting in April of 2002 because they're not allowed to do that during uh, the mayor's term. But I feel since the chief administrator has already assumed some of those duties and he's on board at a high salary, I think it's only right that I voluntarily reduce that salary myself and take that 60000 that the Common Council is, is proposing for 2013 and do that immediately. You know, these are rough economic times. And I feel that the mayor should lead by example. We've reduced many departments. We've asked our employees to take cuts in their benefits, freeze their salaries. So I think it's only reasonable that the mayor's salary at this time should be reduced to fit the revised duties that are currently in place. You know, when I was in the state assembly, I also refused to take scheduled salary increases in the, while the state employees were being asked to hold their time and hold their benefits and freeze their things. Again, the mayor needs to unite the city, unite the common council, and lead the citizens by example, to a better future and forward in Sheboygan. Thank you.